pretty cool. Welcome to Upgrade, I'm your host from the Tank. And today we're gonna bring a corner LED light. If you're a gamer, a streamer, or you just wanna put some jazz into your room, this is probably the good thing that you wanna end up getting. So we're gonna take a look at it and see how to set it up. And not only that, it has great options. You could change that light with an actual control or you could actually change it into the sound music or audio or any kind of noise. It'll change the actual uniform of the lighting. So we're gonna take a look at it and we'll see what options you get when you purchase them with this. And if you can see, it's a small box. It's not that big. It's about two and a half, well, one and a half foot long light. So we're gonna take a look at it and put it together and see what you get when you get something like this. So let's go ahead and start. All right, let's go ahead and open this sucker up. And here's the whole setup, as you can see. Off the bat, remote control with extra LED lights. Uh, actually, remote control with the LED lights that you were gonna require in here to set up on the pole. Uh, if you guys can see it, many multiple color, innovation, audio sound, it's pretty much everything that you require. So uh, on top of that, they give you the remote control here. Uh, it's nice if you could buy two or three and put them in every single corner. You can remote control with one control. It's very simple. And they give you the instructions step-by-step -step how to set it up, all right? So we are going to test this out. And on top of that, they give you the actual device uh, I am barcode that you could get the actual software to download that stuff. That's another thing we're going to try to do too today. So we get the poles really long. These are actually heavy-duty um aluminum poles that you get um you get the actual more extensions here if you guys can see that and this is just the base itself all right and this is the actual corners the l area that you need to actually balance itself now on the bottom itself if you guys can see there is some velcro here like a, a soft area so if you have a hardwood floor you don't have to worry about scratching it it's pretty safe here with this um aluminum base the whole thing and of course you're gonna put your led lights in the back and this is the railway it actually sits in it and, and also they give you the actual cover for it all right so this is a this is pretty much a plastic cover to cover the led light so you won't see any any of the electrical parts coming out or anything like that so it's another great thing about it before i thought it was just going to be an led light they're just going to give it and go but by giving you this this is a great item this actually gives you a better touch a better sense of quality of how good the actual item is so uh plastic material that you can see through it all right so anything you put in through it you're going to be able to 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 reflect any kind of lighting not only that it's going to help the actual light stabilize too so we're going to take a look at it and set that up so let's go ahead and start all right so let's take a look at the actual footing you can tell which one's the footing itself it's a square um area and if you can see there's actually footers in here i'm going to try to see if you can see it by the light uh, there's some padding in here and this tells you that they actually just slip in here um, To put it right you actually have to face it properly and it just squeezes in there All right, so when you put it in there It's just basically there is an allen wrench area that you have to set up to actually screw it in So you just pretty much mount it in there and open it up some more from here And the good thing is that they give you the allen wrench in here. It's included in there too, of course uh, very simple uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this up and if you guys can see they actually give you extra screws in there in case you lose one All right, so right now we're not hopefully you're not gonna end up losing any of these So we're gonna go ahead and use the allen wrench that came with it So the allen wrench we're gonna open up a little bit more of the spacing so we can actually fit this in so we're gonna open it up Open the first one slip it in there still need some more so you need to open range it open some more Slip it in there and then you got to screw it in there tight, right? So it can stay a permanent fixture. We're not planning to move, but you could use this for anything else. You could even put it upside down. I've seen some places where they, they actually, the room are so big that they put one in the bottom and one on the top and they actually met in the middle. So it's not bad, but people could actually modify these. These are aluminum. You could actually easily cut them. So it's uh, up to you. Now, balancing wise, if you guys can see it, it's about a foot and a half long. So this is not going to move in any corner so it's a good thing so let's go ahead and do the rest of them the thing is that you got to do the double-sided tape too all the way down in order to this make this work now if you guys can see it it has a speaker entries right here this is where it captures the actual music or any sound that you're doing on the system so let's go ahead and finish it out all right this is the hardest part to connect it and then you just double-sided tape remove the tape and set it up so we're gonna go ahead and do this part now we're gonna slip it in there if you guys can see it 
there's a little gap that you have to fit this in there um, both ways but before you do that make sure you stretch this out pretty good and untwist it for a while so these joints will start bending back if you guys can see that things fit pretty easy I had a lot of dog hair around here so you just gotta pretty much find the little locations in here and if you guys can see I already started here the joints look very good here if you guys can see it. all you have to do is just punch them in there just you know and they automatically bends in there you guys can see I'm just doing one hand right now and it's it's fitting pretty simple if you guys can see the joints actually this is how they clip in all right they pretty much slip in there you could slip them in there but I pretty much just put them from the top up and they went all the way down you guys can see the LED lights and then we just cap it up we put the cap so we grab in this cap and the piece of resistance goes in here and you're pretty much set all right just to demo you guys i'm going to do an external battery you could take this on the go anywhere if you just plug any kind of external battery make sure you have a usb and we're going to power it up and this thing's going to power up with the actual usb if you even want to make it mobile and just charge these once in a while they'll last you for hours you know so that's another option we can do we're doing it in the daylight if you guys can see and i have the external battery just to do it but we are going to plug it in against the wall so we could have we could dip different modes look at that beautiful lighting different modes i like that um you have different modes like you can see it this lights up the whole entire room um we're gonna do a night shoot with this one outside too look how beautiful it looks different modes if you guys can see i'm just going different modes let's go ahead and do um the audio so we're going to change modes and we're gonna we can change the speed to to faster lighter you know speeds let's do it fast look at that that's crazy you can turn up now we're gonna put the audio test one two three test one two three are we gaming are we gaming that's that's so the audio is picking up from these speakers here these mics actually so you can see it test one two three and then we could see any kind of audio and then you can change the audio to different one two three that's pretty cool let's see the other one test one two three any kind of noise it kind of works really good uh let's do a party we're gonna hit party mode and this is in the daylight guys it's pretty bright as it is you know so we're gonna do sweet and then we're gonna do cool flow and we're gonna do this at night too so you guys can see it and chase and then roll all right so here we have the light guys if you guys can see it nice and beautiful low light we have the remote here uh, we're able to change it to different tones we're gonna change it to all sorts of tones if you guys can see it look at that one um you could adjust it to however you want i'm gonna Put it a little bit to the side, shine up the whole room. You can actually shine up the whole room in here. You guys can see it. It's actually a good match with this display here. Uh, audio, we're gonna put audio. Test one, two, three. So when you're talking, it does this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's change the tone, different tile. One, two, three, four, five, six seven change it to the next one one two three four five six seven and it shoots up all the different colors um we have multiple colors in here to display you guys can see it i'm just messing around with the control push that one this one this one so if you're going to be streaming with your online you want to display your your stuff in the background your little toy settings and all that stuff um, you can mess around with whatever you want they have different ones um different tones you can change it to one solid color if you want it has multiple solid colors and you can always turn it off if you want that's pretty much it my favorite one is probably this one 